sooner, everybody. My name's Harry James. First of all, before we do anything else, thanks to the veterans. For tomorrow being Veterans Day, wearing the uh, USA camel hat. So there's that going on. What else is going on is this week, the Sooners, not just one win over a pretty good North uh, uh, UTSA team that's improving, but they just went on the road into Sioux Falls, South Dakota, neutral site game against Minnesota and took care of business late in the game in the second half. Sooners pulling away after trailing early. So uh, Coach K, Oklahoma's Coach K and company, pull away in the second half from the Roadrunners, 85-67 uh, in Norman. And then in the neutral site game in Sioux Falls, South Dakota, uh, strong second half helps the Sooners survive against the Golden Gophers. We'll review both games coming up next, Bummer Sooner 1982. Don't go away! Welcome back to the show, everybody. My name's Harry James. We'll start with the home opener, regular season opener against UTSA. 85-67, uh, the final is OU's Coach K pulls away in the second half from the Roadrunners. Uh, uh, the first half for UTSA, not completely bad for San Antonio, Texas. San Antonio, you the Roadrunners. Shooting 41.2% from inside the arch and 14.3% from the outside. But oh, the Schooner Boomers, the Boomer Sooners, 36.7% from inside and 15.4% from the three mall, from the three land. As we head to intermission, after intermission comes the second half, where UTSA then shot 27.5% from inside the arch and 20.0% from behind the archway. Well, oh, Kalehoma really lit it up. In fact, they lit it up so much, shooting 57.1% from inside the arch and 25.0% from the three-light marker. For the full set of both court, both halves, UTSA shot 33.8% from inside the arch, while from outside the arch, shooting 17.2%. While Oklahoma, 47.1% from inside the arch and 20.0% 20 from the three line and that way. Stat stuffers. A couple of newbies held down the scoring half of the stat stuffers. Uh, 23 points apiece for number 12, Austin Reeves, the transfer from Wichita State. And the newcomer, the newbie, Davion Harmon, also led the team in scoring. Now, uh, assists went to a veteran on this team. Now as a sophomore, playing a little pretty good as a sophomore. With five assists comes number 12, Jamal Bienemy. So he led them that way. He also led the team in rebounds with 11 boards, did the enemy. The Sooners then took a little trip so, a little bit north. Not as far north as Minneapolis, Minnesota, where the Golden Gophers play their home games. But they went to Sioux Falls, South Dakota, where they played the aforementioned Minnesota Golden Gophers. And to be honest... It was a cold night, maybe, 
in Sioux Falls, and the Sooners started shooting cold. Shooting just 23.5% from inside the arch and 0.0% from the behind the arch in the first half. Second half, uh, first half for uh, Minnesota. 40.3% from inside the arch and 33.3% from behind the archway. Second half, here they go, baby. They play well offensively. They play well defensively, do the Sooners. We'll start with their offensive production in the second half. Oklahoma, 61.5% from inside the arch and 75.0% from behind the archway in the three marker. For the second half, defensively, they held Minnesota to 38.7% shooting from inside the arch and 17.7% from the three-point line. Final statistics in this one. Oklahoma ended, did end up out shooting Minnesota in this game, 40.0% from inside the arch, and 40.0% and from behind the archway, 40% apiece. They held Minnesota, as far as the game is concerned, to 39.7% shooting from inside the arch, and 25.0% from the three-point line. So they overcame a 23.5% shooting first half and 0.0% from three-point line in the first half to do this. And they were able to overcome all of that and the deficit that they were in because of the scoring of uh, Little Bird, Little Larry Bird, Brady Manic, 17 points for number 35 in the Crimson and Cream. Newcomer Austin Reeves had four dimes in the ball game, and the aforementioned Brady Manic and Kristen Doodle, both Okies, pulled down 10 boards apiece to help the Sooners get out of Sioux Falls alive. All right, guys, that will do it for this pre review of OU Men's Hoops. It's been a blast. You can catch me, this, and all my other videos on Twitter, at Hype Man Harry. Also on Facebook, Harry James Taylor, or on YouTube, Boomer Sooner 1982. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Boomer Sooner, everybody. Out of here. Peace.